you could clap. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna have plenty more time to um, applaud them. At this time, I'm asking the audience to please stand for our national anthem and remain standing for the invocation. Mm -mm. The national anthem will be led by Maria Virginia to go. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Maria Virginia. At this time, I'd like to call Dr. Barbara Blake Campbell, professor in the nursing department, for the invocation. Please remain standing, audience. Thank you. Have to follow instructions. Good evening. Oh, Lord giver of all good and perfect gift. We thank you for granting the desire of every heart on this stage to become healers of the human spirit. Help us in turn to become gift givers of speed, gift givers of comfort, gift givers of joy, gift givers of hope. Use us to help the sick Reimagine health again. Lord, we rededicate all that we are to your service. Please speak through our words, inspire through our hearts, and work through our hands. Let every act of care be purposeful and precise, real and true, selfless and sincere. Let integrity be our standard and not the exception. May we be like the light in the lamp that we'll carry today, a light that reflects your light to illumine the darkness of inequality and injustice. May our being always precede our doing. May we never lose sight that we are guardians and witnesses to the intricate process of healing. Grant us feet swift to respond, a voice ready to advocate, hands skilled to mend, a mind filled with knowledge and wisdom, endurance to stand in the places most needed, and most of all, a heart like yours filled with compassion. And after the toil of each day, bless us with your approval, a job well done. Thank you, Dr. Campbell. Audience, you may be seated.
graduates. Please be seated. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our president, Dr. Diane Call, she could not be here today, and she really is a champion for our nursing program, but she send you regards. Um, at this time, I'd like to call Professor Anne-Marie Menendez, chairperson of the nursing department, to give the address. Pro Professor Menendez. Good afternoon, graduates, families, friends. We often speak in education of the opportunity to change lives through teaching. As educators, we believe we can influence our students through books, readings, writing, and reflection. We utilize the latest technology to augment our lessons. We incorporate service learning to address local needs while developing academic skills and fostering a commitment to the community. All this to mold you into the nurse who will meet the needs of patients and families in a highly complex healthcare arena. But as you leave Queensboro, some of your most important teachers have yet to present themselves. They are your future patients. Indeed, your patients will teach you many valuable lessons and will inform who you are and who, more honestly, you will become. You will care for people when they enter the world and notice that although their entrances are similar, their paths may be quite different. You will care for patients who recover health and those that do not. You will notice the choices they have made and how they respond to their health challenges. You will see patients suffer, both physically and mentally, and wonder how some are so very strong and others need much support and encouragement. And you will see people at the end of life and listen as they review their past and long for the future. You will hear of their accomplishments and failures. You will notice who is at the bedside of your patients and who is not. You will be privy to their deepest fears and biggest regrets. You will share in their most joyful moments. When I look back on my patients, I notice how their stories have influenced my story. I notice how I've become more patient, more hopeful, more grateful. I have shared their stories to teach you lessons. Now you will hear your own stories and create your own lessons. There is a saying that when the student is ready, the teacher presents themselves. As you begin your practice of nursing, my wish for you is that your teachers are many, your lessons are meaningful, and that you are ready. I wish you the best. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Professor Menendez. The students have asked Professor Philip ne Neelan, professor in the nursing department, to give the congratulatory address. Professor Neelan. Good afternoon. Professor Menendez, distinguished guest, faculty, staff, family and friends, and above all, and most importantly, the nursing department graduating class of 2018. It is with great honor and pleasure that I congratulate each and every one of you on your great accomplishments, both personally and academically. Some years ago, you began your nursing studies here at Queensboro, and today you are ready to graduate and move on, and you can all say with great pride, we did it. Yes, you did it, and you did it quite well. Be proud of yourselves, be proud of each other, and be proud that you are entering one of the greatest professions in today's healthcare. Today's candlelighting service represents all that you have accomplished, and in some way, all that you will accomplish. You worked extremely hard to be where you are at this very moment in time. Despite long lectures, endless study hours, clinical rotations, exam preparations, HESI exams, and you are here to tell your story. While each of you has a different account to tell, you are united 
in achieving your one common goal, to be a professional nurse. As someone who is fairly new to Queensboro Community College, I can honestly say that I have, you have an outstanding nursing faculty and staff who work tremendously with great dedication and responsibility to help you to achieve your goal. They taught you well, and now you are ready to take your state licensing exam. As you know, Queensboro's pass rates are extremely high, and soon you will join others before you. Take the exam, and with great pride and with great emotion proudly say, I too am a registered nurse. You have learned so much in the nursing program, the nursing process, lab values, signs and symptoms of heart failure, how to care for those who suffer from mental illness, just to name a few. When you think about all that you have learned over the past year, it speaks to your dedication and commitment to follow your vision to be a nurse. However, I must tell you with all honesty that there are some things we did not teach you. There are some things we could not teach you, things that even the best nursing textbook could not teach you. What are these things, you might ask? They are the moments you will personally experience in your nursing careers. They are the times that will define who you are as a nurse and why you became a nurse. They will be the times at the end of a shift when you know deep down inside you made a joy in helping someone else's life. The joy of helping a woman in labor who delivers a beautiful, healthy baby. The happiness of discharging a patient who had major surgery and whose care you partook. Or the exhilaration of caring for a small child who will go home to lead a normal and healthy life. These are the things we could not teach you, nor could we ever try. Yet we know the nursing process and work mirrors life. There are good moments, and yes, there are difficult and emotional moments, such as holding a patient's hand as he or she takes their last breath, or a patient, despite all your efforts, did not make it. Yes, these are the things we cannot teach you. These are the moments that patients and their family and friends will remember for years. The impact that you will have on the lives of your patient is immeasurable. In fact, sometimes you will never even know it, but trust me, they are there. There's a story told about a woman in her early 60s who underwent major surgery to determine if she had cancer. Following the surgery, each and every day she would ask the doctors, did my report come back? And each and every day they would say, not today, maybe tomorrow. Finally, on one particular morning, she asked again, and the interns informed her, Yes, it did, and I'm very sorry to say you have advanced cancer, and left the room. It was the quick thinking of a nurse who heard this and went into the room, closed the door, and stayed with a patient. She held her, and she let her cry. She even got her a fresh cup of coffee from the coffee shop and stayed with her until the family arrived. She went above and beyond to this day. She is remembered. The nurse is spoken of with great thought by the family and remembered in a loving way. To this day, she will never fully know the care she gave to the patient and to the family. Today, she is the nurse that I strive to be. I know full well the story, as the patient in the story was my mother. It was almost 16 years ago, and I still think of this nurse and we will be forever grateful to her for all that she did and all that she taught. Yes, these are the things we could not teach you. I challenge you to be like that nurse in the story. Each of you has incredible knowledge, compassion, and the ability to make a difference in the lives of those for whom you will care. Please never lose sight of why you became a nurse, as well as the sacrifices you made to get to this point and even further and always remind yourselves, yes, we can. I leave you with a quote written by a famous American doctor. No, not the kind of doctor you would find in a hospital or clinic. In fact, he never even went to medical school, yet all of you know him, Dr. Seuss. And he wrote, you have brains in your head. 
you have feet in your shoes. You can stare yourself in any direction you choose. You are on your own, and you know what you know. And you are the one who'll decide where to go. Oh, the places you'll go. To the graduating class of 2018, I know I speak in the name of everyone here as well as your family and friends who could not be here. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Be proud and remember, oh, the places you'll go. Thanks, Professor Nealon, that was great. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've waited for. Let the magic happen, as they say. This is the time for our candle lighting and have some instructions. Um, the audience is gonna be dark, so if you have any children, your graduate should have told you. Um, it might be a little frightening for them, that's okay. I beg you, I plead with you to hold your applause until the end, you will get plenty of time to celebrate, but we'd like each graduate to hear their names mentioned. And as you know, this is the most diverse place on the planet, so the names are amazing, okay? Um, the, students, um, the students have selected the following people for the candle lighting. Um, Professor Barbara Rome, nursing department, and Miss Audrey Maroney, the director of our nursing lab and center. Thank you so much. This young lady is going to be the next SNA president, and she's going to join me. Um, so she's gonna join me. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Raluca Oprah Scan. Okay, thank you. Ready. Amina Remen. Sean Jaffrey. Shirley Pascal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please follow the instructions and remain silent. Alexandra Chingas. Camille Wong. Irina Manikimova. Xiaoyan Gu. Jasleen Gonzalez. Renata Wycheck. Serena Vider. Jung Un Huang. Mm -hmm. Gerwinder Parmar. Clifton Nairn. Jennifer Magri. Yishi Huang. Ruth Ann Johnson. Patrice Stewart. Julie Freeman. Kadeen Ismael. Enja Lee. Jennifer Lay. Amanda Andriani. Crystal. McEachern, Ron 
Wenling Wang. Amanda Mathura. Debbie Quell. Ajayi Adiola. Mallory Messina Innocent. William Brown. Jacqueline Sablian. Jing Lee. Jessica Margarita Takure. Marion Yuga. Melissa Aldrana Pagwe. Sierra Sessa. <laughs> Catherine Kim. Samantha Kellawan. Hadassah Kossoff. Naima Salomon. Monique Jimena. Alyssa Christel Dima Vivas. Beverly Valerio. <coughs> Shannon Carney. Renz Nika Hannah Degula. Christopher Caserma. Dolores Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of January 2018. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Told you I've waited for that. Okay, audience. I failed to tell you that there was a financial award for the family members who listened to my instructions. At the end of the ceremony, I'd like you to meet me outside next to that bridge in Brooklyn for it, okay? You're welcome. At this time, the nurses pledge will be led by members of the Student Nursing Association. I'm gonna read their names. Um, Christopher Caserma, Shannon Carney, Beverly Valeria, Alyssa Dima Vivas, and Renz Nika Degula. I will strive with all my being and with the help of God to become an open, honest, kind, 
and diversified individual. In doing so, I will attain the qualities essential in the practice of nursing. For it is only after realizing one's self's worth, we are able to promote that of others. Deliverance of high quality health care is of essential importance. But let us also reach beyond a treatment or diagnosis. And remember that entrusted to my care is a human being with all the loves, hates, fears, and idiosyncrasies that are an integral part of the human species. Let me not grow too comfortable in my knowledge, but actively seek out new information or continuance of my education. Being a nurse is continuous growth. I dedicate myself to this cause and my life to the profession of nursing. Graduates, you may extinguish your candles. <laughs> Graduates, please be seated. Okay. At this time, I'd just like to ask my colleagues and any of the nurse in the audience to please stand so the graduates can celebrate you. So my colleagues, all the nurses, please stand. And any nurses in the back, I see some previous graduates. Your nurses now, in the back. The graduates would also like anyone, any veterans or anyone serving in the military to please stand so we could also applaud you and thank you. Thank you so much. Ready, Dolores? At this time, the outgoing president of the Student Nurse Association, Ms. Dolores Paul, will address you, fair address. Dolores? Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Student Nurses Association and the graduating class of winter 2018, I would like to honor and welcome the president of the college, Diane Call, Vice President of Academic Affairs, Timothy Lynch, Vice President of Student Affairs, Michelle Hodge, Nursing Chairperson Anne Marie Menendez, faculty, family, and friends to the 2018 Nursing Candlelighting and Pinning Ceremony. Thank you all for coming to commemorate this special day. Seated before you are 46 individuals from unique backgrounds who all heard the call to serve. Excited yet terrified, we stepped foot on the third floor of the Medical Arts Building and soon learned we never wanted anything more. These past two years were not easy. Our resilience was tested and we pushed through by becoming resourceful and relying on each other. Late night group study sessions and early morning huddles before each exam became a ritual. Whether a tough exam or a challenging day at clinical, we held each other up and emerged with friendships to last a lifetime. Our experiences together taught us the power of faith, the virtue of compassion, and the might of strength and perseverance. I am honored to speak on behalf of an upstanding group of people who will go on to greatly contribute to this field. I could not stand here and be sincere with the without the impact you all have made on me over the years. The laughs, tears, and great memories we have shared together has made this journey even more special. In particular, thank you to Debbie and William for inspiring me with your courage, your generosity, and your loyalty that shines brightly through your moral character in friendship and in practice. We leave here not with a lamp in one hand and a degree in the other, 
but a sense of purpose, a definition of who we are and where we belong in this world. We stand here today celebrating something beyond our newfound knowledge and passing of exams. We celebrate the beginning of our presence, the honor of welcoming the start of life and comforting it as it leaves this world, the impact of our responsibility in protecting and empowering everyone under our care. To the faculty, we are grateful for the wealth of knowledge you have bestowed upon us over the last two years. Thank you for never handing us our education on a silver platter, for making us understand the value of hard work and determination. You have constructed our character, fortified our potential, and ignited our passion. We intend to emulate your example and the values of this program as we embark on our journey. I would especially like to thank our SNA advisors, Professors Bentley, Georgillis, Reichart, Bayer, and Chairperson Menendez for your unwavering support and guidance throughout this semester. The senior class would also like to thank Professor Weber for dedicating your time and showing us that the greatest expression of passion for the field is manifested in how much you invest into the success of others. To my fellow SNA cabinet members, Thank you for your dedication in help, helping organize a wonderful luncheon and candle lighting we can forever cherish in memory. Most importantly, thank you for making me a better leader to uphold the core values of the SNA, advocacy, professionalism, and empowerment. Our time spent will not be defined by the impermanence of fancy decorations or gifts, but by the lasting impact of giving a helping hand and a supportive pres presence to a student in need by setting an example and giving students another set of shoulders to stand on along their path to excellence. We did this for ourselves, for the challenge, the calling to alleviate the world of suffering and bring joy to the lives we touch. But most importantly, we did this for all of you. Our parents, children, partners, family, friends, and for the loved ones who are no longer here to see this day, but live on eternally within us, you are our greatest source of strength through this journey. You supported us in every way, shape, and form needed, even though you were impacted by the sacrifices we made to succeed and stand up on this day. And for that, we are forever grateful. The late Joseph Campbell said, a hero is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger than oneself. In light of this thought, let us go forward into this field with a soft heart but steel spine. Let us not stay complacent but become the vehicle for change. Let us remember that even on the darkest of days, the smallest of gestures makes all the difference. May our candle continue to burn and light the way for we are the future. Educators, leaders, and innovators ready to advance the field of hurt nursing and healthcare. The world has many challenges. There is work to be done. We are ready for the challenge. And with that, I present to you the class of winter 2018. Thank you, Dolores. Okay, this is the time we have the presentation of pins. The following faculty will assist in the pinning. Professor Dolores Weber, Professor Janet Frances, Professor Lawrence Bentley, and Professor Randall Sasser. You're going first, who's going first? Go first. Graduates, please stand.
ladies and gentlemen, we're now at the end of our program. That beautiful music you heard play was our own Professor Philip Nealon who gave the speech. Thank you so much. I ask that you let the graduates leave first. I believe there are some light refreshments in the medical arts there. Well, welcome and thank you for coming to our candlelighting ceremony. Have a wonderful day.